U.S. Water Rockets presents the Micro Camera Hacking Tutorial Timestamp Removal Part 3. In the first two installments of this tutorial, we've seen how to extract the flash memory chip from our camera and how to build a programmer to program it with. Now we need to download some firmware for the programmer. Let's get started. Point your browser to uswaterrockets.com slash share slash uswr underscore flasher dot zip and download the zip file. Once the download has completed, open the zip file and drag the contents onto your desktop. We are now ready to connect the modified TI MSP430 launchpad to your computer using the USB cable provided. When you connect the TI Launchpad to your computer, the USB drivers will install. Follow any prompts Windows gives you until the driver successfully installs. Open the software folder on your desktop and find the loader.bat file and execute it by double clicking. If everything is successful, it will say close with no errors. To begin programming, press the push button next to the LEDs. The red LED will start flashing, indicating progress. When it stops flashing, the green LED will blink, indicating success. If an error occurs, the red LED will change its blink rate and the green LED will not come on. You will need to go back and check your wiring. We are now ready to reassemble our camera using the modified firmware chip we just created. Gently pull each wire from the flash memory chip's leads while applying heat with your soldering iron. We are now ready to reinstall the flash memory chip onto the camera circuit board. Before we install the flash memory chip, we will remove the remnants of the leads we cut from the battery terminals. Lay the flash memory chip in its place on the printed circuit board, making a note to match pin 1 on the chip with the marking on the circuit board. Gently touch each lead of the flash memory chip until the solder flows up the lead and forms a joint. Carefully inspect your work and make sure all joints are nice and smooth. Reflow them with more heat if needed. Strip the positive battery lead and solder it to its position on the circuit board. Next, we will re-solder the black or negative battery terminal onto the circuit board. Next, you will replace the plastic buttons in the camera shell and install the circuit board. Lay the circuit board back in the camera shell and reinstall the screws which held it in place. Now you can lay the battery back in place on top of the circuit board, making sure to tuck the wires in away from the lens. Snap the other side of the camera shell in place and reinstall the screws. Make sure that you test the camera without the SD card installed as if there is a wiring problem or something else went wrong. We do not wish to damage the SD card with a defective camera. If the camera powers up normally, then the modification was successful. To demonstrate one of these modified cameras in action, we've installed it in the nose cone of X12, our high pressure water rocket. This is slow motion video of the water rocket lifting off. This is the liftoff in real time. This is the actual onboard footage taken with the modified camera. In 
roughly 10 seconds, the rocket has reached close to 2,000 feet in altitude, where a parachute is deployed. In good lighting conditions, the video quality is very clear, and the color reproduction is very good. As the rocket descends in the parachute, it is buffeted by the wind and swings around quite a bit. In spite of that, there is very little warping or wobble caused by the electronic shutter. The video quality is sufficiently high that you can extract still photos from the video and assemble them into a panoramic view. Eventually, the water rocket touches down and its onboard video is complete, as is this tutorial video. We hope that you found the methods and techniques described in this tutorial to be informative and you can make use of it for your own cameras. Stay tuned because we have more tutorials in the works and a few surprises too. Thanks for watching.